You think I could pit shark a thousand pounds? We're gonna try it today. From the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood, join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. I'm gonna get back to my workout in my brand new uh, home gym. Uh, you guys can check, check out my new house or home gym. Um, it's not as nice as my last one, but it works for now. Pit shark. Just grade A, 100%. Angus certified feet. That's right. Uh, Grass fed and finished <laughs> with testosterone. Just kidding. You want to say hello to my people, hey. people? Yeah. Hey. These are my uh, these are my buddies. This is Peter yes. and Sham. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I've been friends with uh, Miles here uh, for a long time. Use you, your chest when you say it. Sorry, I've been friends uh, yeah, here with Miles Miles for a long time, and uh, that's that's Miles. Okay. And we, we've known Brandon for a long time. Yeah. And we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name again? Well, Miles is he, strong. He was, he was asking about my middle name, which is James. He's, yeah. I didn't J J Hi, James. Yeah. Um, very strong. I go by Miles. Hi, My Hi Miles. Very strong. Um, a great man. Very strong. I like what you've done with your place. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it was, uh, was a couple of renovations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like you put your logo on the floor and everything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I got it. Again, I still have some alterations to make. It's going to say MB9. <laughs> and then that one's going to be a San Diego State poster. Okay. Yeah, not the Bulldog? No, yeah. I can't, I can't uh, get down with the Bulldogs. I get down with the Pit Sharks, though. Oh! <laughs> it's a different breed. Yeah, yeah. So the Pit Shark is actually uh, this one here. It's got uh, the teeth and it's got the head of a shark, but the body of a pit bull. So, which I think uh, the pit bull is a superior dog than um, a Bulldog. <laughs> Well, isn't it? If you had a bulldog, would you would you put your money on the bulldog in a fight with a pit bull? Absolutely not. The bulldogs have a hard time breathing in <laughs> hot air in Fresno. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you the history of why they chose a bulldog? No. Their, no. No. Actually, I should probably find that out. Yeah. Because I, if you're thinking superiority wise, <laughs> it was so why an Aztec? Well, they never retreated in battle, and in fact, if they did, they okay. were killed by their own. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, they killed a lot of bulldogs in their time. Yeah, you did. You did. <laughs> I don't know who holds the oil can, though. Uh, I don't know who has it right now. I just remember the last two times I played there, I think I averaged like 497,000 yards passing. That's a fair point. But you're not a bulldog. You're a human. <laughs> <So. laughs> I must say, the country was founded on miners. M-I-N-E-R-S. And how is that applicable? I, UTEP, miners. Oh, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one in somehow. He went to there, UTEP yeah. and uh, we, everyone we forgot their mascot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how was that Texas, by the way? Um, very Texas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We're just dirt. Just and dirt. dirt. Just mines, dirt and flat. Mine is miners. That's about it. Yeah. Yep. Speaking of miners, what's up, Dink? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? <laughs> oh, this is my buddies. So. Usually, when I'm going to a new gym, the last thing I'm thinking to do is another leg day, because that's mostly a check it off the list type day. Let's keep the knees healthy. Let's get it in so we don't have chicken legs. But I don't like it that much. But when you go to an elite athlete's gym, and they've got all this stuff that makes you feel incredible nostalgia for your past, such as the pit shark, which I know I've already shown a couple times, but I'm not sure how I'm ordering these clips. The pit shark is modeled after a rare breed uh, when a bulldog and a shark mated, and they made a pit shark, and it had a shark for the head is how they chose to, to birth it. So anyways, it's, you can really load this up and get an incredible compound movement on your legs without having to load your lower back um, and mitigate all of that injury risk. A lot of NFL and college teams are starting to switch over, hence why uh, the last time I did this was in college and in the league. So um, I, I heard he had one, and I was all pumped up to do leg day because I don't really enjoy doing squats. I've got a lot of negative emotions connected to the squat. But man, pit shark, it's fun because you can load it the heck up and get after it. So he's got these 100-pound plates, which is awesome. And then these skinny looking ones right here are actually 45s. It's like that powerlifting style because you can load the pit shark up so much uh, and really get a great stimulus. It's better to save a little space and get some bigger plates. 
denser plates. All right. I think, I think my warm-up's gonna be your last working set on whatever you were doing on here. I'll give you a little tour in here uh, real quick. We got some knickknacks over here. Um, I don't really know where anything is, to be honest, but there's a Peloton here. Again, here's the pit shark. Here is the power rack. He's got the TRXs, he's got bands everywhere. He's got, most importantly, the DC4 logo up in there. Little box jump set up. Great, he's got a pulley machine. Then over here we got that really cool true form uh, sprinter. You can sprint on, jog on. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that because I'm, uh, I'm morally against running. But probably the coolest thing he's got in his weight room, in my opinion, shout out Power Block. You've shown a lot of love in the past. Let's do another podcast sometime soon. But Derek Carr must have your nicest, if not one of the nicest setups. Show me another adjustable dumbbell setup that can go from five to 167 and a half pounds per dumbbell with this much space saving. I gotta give me some of them. So we're gonna have a good time over the next few days here. I'm gonna hit legs today, likely chest tomorrow, and back on Monday. Um, tomorrow's Super Bowl Sunday. Hopefully I'll be able to crank these videos out um, maybe a day later than I'm shooting them. But let's go get after it, leg day. All right, here we go. Man, this is good. Oh, yeah. Honestly, it's not even a working set. I felt like I could have kept going for days but I would rather get maybe two quality sets where I'm actually really pushing myself closer to failure. And I don't even think I'll get near it. I think I'll leave three reps in reserve at least on this movement, just because I haven't really, really loaded myself in a really heavy compound squatting movement in a while. I know I'm gonna be pretty torn up tomorrow and I don't want to be gimpy and then have somebody be like, why are you gimping? What'd you hurt? It's like, oh, I just did some squats. And they'll be like, you soft body, get out of my presence. And then they say, get over here. And Scorpion would throw a dart in you and then rip your head off. Fatality. So that's all I got to say about that. Threw another 45 on each side. So this is 670 pounds, four 100 pound plates and six 45s. I'm actually gonna go in this back hole here and see if that helps me to get a little more range of motion. How this belt is set up to where the bumper hits the ground. It's not necessarily ideal depth. Yeah, I think that kind of does it. That will do. Ooh. Again, this feels pretty light. <clears throat> Tension point on that, put a little more emphasis on my quads, which could use a little more work, so maybe I'll stay there with it. Who needs a 45 pound plate when you can have a 55? Derek Carr has all the little cool knickknacks here. Never even seen a 55. Never even heard of something like that, you know what I'm saying? Because did you hear what I just did? All right, here we go. So that would be 670 plus 110 would be 1,080, I think. Sounds about right. Just kidding, 780. However, this loads you up from a you know mechanical tension standpoint is not one-to-one -one when it comes to squatting, but it is cool to know in your mind that you're moving around 780 pounds. It does something for you psychologically. Feels good, makes you feel strong and healthy and capable of doing whatever's called upon you. Maybe your kid's about to fall and you're able to stand up out of your seat really fast, get over there. And you find out it was just a false alarm, you know? They were just looking for their ring pop under the couch that they couldn't find from the other month ago. Get a little pause down here. 
eliminate any momentum. You know what? Just stop right there. You think I could pit shark a thousand pounds? We're gonna try it today. All right, here we go, next set. I'll probably just do a couple reps to feel it. 860 pounds. Try to this slot again here, see how that feels. I wanna find the right lever point because I'm about to go real heavy here. So I wanna make sure that that's the right one for me. Oh! I gotta go on that back one again. It's not a, um, it's not a deep enough range of motion for me. This back one seems like the further you go up, the less range of motion for, for this back. I'll get the most there, so I'll move it on back. It's not purely an ego lift, but a portion of it, for sure. They're 45 on each side, 950 pounds. I'll go a single here and then slap a 25 on each side. Take that for a run. <clears throat> Man, that's easy. <clears throat> Did you hear me when I said that was easy? Ow. There you go, moving quick here. Derek's preaching at Church LV in an hour and I wanna make sure I get there on time. All right, so this is a 1,000 pound pit shark squat, I guess you would call it, press, pit shark press. I don't know, I don't wanna offend sharks or bulldogs, so I'll try to just keep the language out of it. Woo! Always find one more, right? Maybe even two more. Let's go. This leads me to my next lesson in life. Don't do cardio. Anything past 10 reps, cardio. It's um I don't like it, and you shouldn't do it. It's bad for your cardiovascular health and respiratory health and orthodontic health and your pediatric health. So, and definitely your mental health. It's actually, that's the only one that it's bad for. I was lying about the other ones. Good luck for me catching my breath the rest of this workout. Uh, so, next, since I am uh, staying consistent and I'm on a time crunch, I think I'm gonna do a split squat movement per usual on his very convenient split squat setup. Set up just for the right height. Uh, no, but in all realness, that was, again, just one little weird tweak. Oh, there's a pit shark here that brings back feelings from loading that movement up in college, celebrating with your boys after hitting a big set, you know, being bummed because I wasn't doing back squats because my back was having an issue and able to really load that thing. It's just nostalgia, good memories. It excites you in that same way. And all of a sudden I was able to come in here and pit shark press, I think you call it, a thousand pounds for what, 14 reps? Uh, and that wasn't total failure either. And, uh, Oh, somebody and all for realsies. Little things like that. Getting psychologically excited because I knew he had a pit shark here. It flooded me with these memories and emotions of loading that up with the boys in college, hitting big sets, cheering each other on, celebrating, getting excited by like knowing you can a pit shark is kind of like a decline press if you're doing bench. You know, decline people get excited because it's a shorter range of motion different movement patterns so you can load it up. 
and maybe hit 300 pounds when really you're a 275 bencher, you know? A pit shark is kind of like that. You can load it up a whole lot more than a squat. And I don't, the idea of, shoot, maybe I could hit a thousand pounds on this caused me to push myself in a way that I wouldn't have been able to get to had I not been excited about it. Uh, certain body parts, you know, for me, legs is not a fun one for me, but you have to kind of romanticize certain ideas about what you're getting out of the leg day or a certain exercise or what it's leading to, or you want to have, you know, big juicy quads spilling out of your shorts, you know, whatever it is, you freaking narcissist. <laughs> not me, you, dude, just kidding. Use what you got to use. You're going to get more, more out of it. And, uh, that was it today. So let's get this split squat movement. Made me mess around in a couple other things. Get out of here. And why not a quick little 42 inch box jump? That's all the jumps I need for the next year. Here's another lesson I learned. The worst thing about pit sharks is unloading the pit shark after doing the workout. All right, so I'm gonna do two sets of uh, Bulgarian split squats, super set with two sets of RDLs. Oh, gosh, they got heavier. These are all 42 and a half pound dumbbells. Next set. Really, this is a 55 and 245s each side, so instead of 315 like last leg day, this will be 325. Well, it looks like I'm going to be getting a grip strength workout as well as RDLs because I can't find any wrist wraps in here. I'm sure they're in here. I'm just passing over them somewhere. Ooh. Get an extra tight wrap with that thumb over the bar. Maybe that'll help. What, it was harder on the forearms than it was the hamstrings. 57 and a half pound dumbbells, okay. Last set of RDLs. I'm gonna take a 45 pound plate off each side, so I'll be working with 235 because I don't feel like getting in another grip war. That actually took a lot more out of me than I thought it would. Just having the element of having to really squeeze my grip for that 10 set rep. Like I took, I had to sit down for like, I mean I didn't have to, but I sat down for like five minutes and I was still kind of panting and I could just feel my body didn't wanna go. Um, so I'm gonna strip it down to 235. No, I'm just gonna stay down here with it. Just keep the tension on the muscle the whole way. I've done more, yes, but did I want to? No, and that really outweighed the yes for me. 
So stick around and you're gonna learn a lot more, I'm telling you. So that's the end of the workout. The last thing you need to do is watch me pant while I talk to you to close it out. I'm at my boy Derek Carr's house, working out in his amazing weight room, getting after it. And I will be for the next couple days. Stay tuned tomorrow, there'll be another one, probably push day.